In the 5th century, the Vandals had occupied Roman North Africa and established its own kingdom, known as the Vandal Kingdom. Relations between the Byzantines and the Vandals had long been normal, but flared up due to the Vandals' adherence to the declared heresy of Arianism and their persecution of the Nicene Christian native population. In 530, the pro-Roman king of the Vandals, Hilderic, was overthrown and replaced with his cousin Gelimer, and Justinian I, one of the Eastern Roman Empire's greatest generals, saw this as a justified reason to intervene in the Vandal affairs. In 533, after having secured the eastern frontiers with Persia and suppressing the Nica riots, Justinian commenced his reconquest of the previously Roman territories by dispatching the military general Flavius Belisarius to reclaim the Vandal-held lands. The Byzantine Eastern Roman forces set sail from Constantinople in June and went along the coast of Greece and southern Italy before landing in Caput Vada in September. This completely took King Gelimer by surprise, and in a hurry, King Gelimer gathered his forces to meet the Roman army. The battle that followed would be known as the Battle of Ad Decimum. When Belisarius arrived in North Africa, he knew that the Vandals would move towards him before he could reach Carthage, although not where they were exactly, and thus wanted to gain more knowledge about them before going into battle. Belisarius found a good spot for a fortified camp a few miles away from Ad Decimum, and left his infantry at the camp while his cavalry advanced, 300 strong scouts of John the Armenian and 600 Hunnic soldiers. One of the 600 Hunnic soldiers rode in front of the other Huns when they encountered the Vandals. Upon seeing the soldiers, the Vandals stopped and allowed the Huns to charge and disperse them. This did not go well for the Vandals, and the 2,000 soldiers were defeated by the Huns. At roughly the same time, Amatus was scouting the battlefield with a few men when he encountered the Byzantine armies under John the Armenian, which were significantly stronger. The encounter would end with Amatus' death. The rest of Amatus's forces were quickly defeated when encountering the Byzantine army. By that point, a group of Byzantine soldiers, led by a man named Solomon, arrived where the battle took place and questioned the locals about what had occurred. King Gelimer's forces came into sight, and Solomon moved his soldiers to a nearby hill. Solomon's and Gelimer's troops clashed, but Gelimer's had a bigger army, and quickly defeated the small Byzantine unit, and the Byzantine soldiers retreated to camp. Upon return, the soldiers informed Belisarius about what had happened. Belisarius then ordered his troops to attack the Vandals at Ad Decimum, rightfully believing that his army was bigger in numbers. Arriving at Ad Decimum, the Vandals were completely unprepared for an attack from the south, and the Vandals fled to the west, leaving Carthage fairly lightly defended. Belisarius set camp near where the battle had taken place, and the next day he marched into Carthage, ordering his soldiers not to kill nor enslave the people, as he stated they were Roman citizens under Vandal rule. The Byzantine army was welcomed by the citizens of Carthage, and thus the city was once again Roman. After the Byzantine victory, Gelimer set up at Bulla Regia, about 150 kilometers to the west of Carthage. Knowing that he could not face Belisarius's forces alone, he sent a message to his brother Tsazon, who was then campaigning in Sardinia. Upon receiving the message, Tsazon returned to North Africa in order to help his brother. Gelimer tried many strategies to weaken the Byzantines. He attempted to divide the forces that were helping Belisarius. He offered rewards to Punic and Berber tribes for every Byzantine head they could bring, sent agents to Carthage to attempt to persuade the Hunnic soldiers to betray Belisarius, and destroyed the aqueduct that supplied the city with majority of its water. Belisarius, who knew of Gelimer's agents, felt like he could not trust the Hunnic soldiers. Belisarius thus left some of his army in Carthage while he moved with less than 10,000 soldiers to meet the Vandals, which had an army of 15,000 soldiers. The Vandals and Belisarius' army met 50 kilometers outside of Carthage, where Belisarius immediately charged the Vandals, reformed his army, and then attacked two more times. The Byzantine army frantically attacked the Vandals, ending with the death of Tsazon, and the Vandals were routed. After the Battle of Tricamarum, the Vandal kingdom was pretty much defeated, and the Roman control of the Vandal-occupied regions was reintegrated.